okay juxtaposition i'm saying about juxtaposition eh? it is the two things being placed together with contrasting effect that is juxtaposition understood that is the two things being placed together with a contrasting effect so contrast is defined as juxtaposition of opposing elements in a design that that means a contrast occurs when two or more visual elements in a composition are different and we use contrast in a design to generate impact highlight importance and create visual interest and dynamics and contrast can be achieved in the following means they are size contrast shape contrast texture contrast position contrast color contrast and value contrast so size contrast means the elements of same shape are used in dif differing sizes this is an example for size or shape contrast the elements of same shape are used in differing sizes that is size contrast and shape contrast in shape contrast the elements of approximately same size are used in differing shapes and the next come texture contrast this is an example for texture contrast a grass and stones placed in it and in texture contrast the elements of same shape and same size are used with different textures that are that is texture contrast color contrast is this you can take this picture as an example of color contrast also and the color contrast is the element of same shape shapes are used in different colors and in this picture the chairs are not in same shape but i just gave it for the contrast effect to know the contrast effect that's it and value contrast the other one is the elements of same shape are used in different values of same color that is value contrast okay so contrast in when contrast comes to garments uh, i'll show you i'll draw an example for you see this is a garment the top is plain and skirt we can give some designs like this and it create confusion also see in this what can you understand the top top portion of the garment is plain and the skirt is or to skirt is full, full of designs right so this create a contrast understood so create a garment which have a contrast in it create a uh, top and skirt or uh, you can create a gown also you can create a dress jean and top skirt and top and create contrast in 
top or bottom part yeah. according to idea to your idea create something so it is clear now what is contrast okay please show me your drawing books and start and now what happened to your video your videos of and josie sir is very strict about that <laughs> uh, sharon did you show your picture just show that emphasis picture to everyone she have done very well just show see yeah continue drawing malavika i can't see your drawing book
Sir, now have you finished? Yes, no. Yes, ma'am. You finished? Okay, please show me. Okay. In this picture, uh, what you have to do is that uh, make the top part little lighter. So, the skirt will be more attractive or more contracting okay you have to do like that by seeing the picture we should see the contrast in some part okay And what medium are you using to design, to draw, Sana? I use soft pastels. Okay, okay, okay. Draw, nice. I think Sharon is also using the medium that watercolor pencils, right? Yes. Yes, uh, yes ma'am. Okay. Not watercolor. Okay, then what? Stedler. It's a brand. Yeah, ma'am. Normal color. Normal color you're using. Okay. And Anna is using watercolor pencils. Huh? No need to uh, make it wet. Just draw with that pencil itself, okay? Ma'am, is this? I use okay. black and white. Okay. Yeah, this shows contrast to the skirt portion. Yeah, this is good. Okay. okay. Nice. Those who don't have textbooks, you can download it from uh, the CBSE site or uh, it is available. Okay, and 
just go through the uh, there are some glossaries behind every chapter just go through that okay just study that also that new words i'm not i'm not giving that words in the notes but you have to study that words glossaries okay of every chapter there are some terms like gathering knitted work progression tuck hue value color palette definitions are the rhythm balance contrast emphasis heterogeneous like that just go through that and just study that also Reena, what happened? Hmm? Have you finished? Some more, ma'am. Okay, okay. Sana, most of the time your video is off. what happened no i finished okay no problem just switch on the video okay so those who have not finished just finish it for the next classes or after finish it need send it to me um, say completed uh, yes ma'am okay you have uh, created contrast using color yellow and okay you yeah, okay, okay now it's clear the pant is striped right yes ma'am okay please send it to me in whatsapp okay okay so those who have not completed complete it in the next uh, i finished who have finished reina you have finished just show me the picture uh, okay you have Uh, given a light shade on the top, and you have given bright colors on the skirt. Okay, um, just send it. Send the picture to me. Then I'll tell you if any corrections are needed. Okay, and Magna, what about you? I think you have about to complete. Yeah, a little. Okay. Okay, those who have not completed, just send it to me after the class. so we have studied what all we have studied in this chapter we have studied design fundamentals designing process then what do you have studied sanna can you say what we have studied in this chapter 
about the principles okay principles of design we have studied about the colors hues color balance and Okay, there was a power failure. Can you hear me? No. Okay. So we have what all we have studied in this chapter. That was uh, that I that that I was asking to whom? Yeah, Sana. Tell me, what all we have studied in this chapter? We have studied designing fundamentals, de designing process, and elements of design. Sana went. Meghna, can you please say it to me? Fundamentals of design, a principle mm. of design, designing process, a okay. color psychology, okay. and color, color scheme, uh, schemes. Okay, and elements of design and principles of design we have studied. So, what are the principles of de design? Anna, can you say the what is rhythm? Uh, mm. uh, a profound visible there is a profound visible in nature and life like it is a design element which is defined as in uh, which uh, gives intervals of showing in uh, uh, okay the elements are paced in a manner that i moves in a direction and and that motion of the eye causes rhythm, okay? And there are three types of rhythm. What are they, Malavika? Regular, flowing and progressive. Okay. Then we have studied the next principles of design is... What? Who is going? Reina, can you say to me? What comes after rhythm? What you have studied after rhythm? You were there in the class. Balance. Balance, yeah. On what is balance? The balance of both sign designs should be balanced. Okay, the visual weights will be same. And balance means the visual. It is the visual weight of elements in a design, which is in a design. Okay, and there are two types of balance. What are they, Sharon? Symmetrical and asymmetrical balance. Balance. Okay, and we have drawn picture for asymmetrical and symmetrical balance. And the next one is what? A magna. Emphasis. Emphasis. And what is that? Uh, in a uh, design, uh, uh, like a flower or big, uh, which catch our eye when we look at a design, which yes. catch our attention. Okay, attention. That means attention to a particular point. That is emphasis. And the last one is, Sifi, can you say the last one? Contrast. 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 Okay. What is contrast? Uh, there are two or more visual elements in a composition. Okay. Are, uh, to generate intact highlight importance. Okay, and it defines as juxtaposition. Just remember that word also. Okay, juxtaposition of opposite elements in a design. That is contrast. Juxtaposition, you have understood now what is juxtaposition? Can you tell the spelling? J U X T A 
P O S I T I O N Juxta position J U X T A position and it means the two things being placed together with contrasting effect that is juxta position and the contrast occurs when two or more totally different features occur in a design that is contrast and there are different types of contrast what are they anna right contrast uh, shape contrast texture contrast then position and color contrast okay so we have completed the third chapter and we are moving to the fourth chapter the chapter name is elements of garment making so we are moving to the chapter we have going to start the ch for chapter 4 that is elements of garment making in this chapter uh, this chapter introduces uh, as the the skills required for converting fabrics into a stitched garment this chapter we are going to study the skills required for converting fabrics into a stitched garment and elements of garment making is an introduction to the basic skill of sewing which is essential to convert the design on a paper into a garment when we design a garment or any a costume first we design, first we create a pattern with paper a brown paper and after creating pattern then we create garment from that pattern okay and in sewing can be defined as a craft of attaching fabrics or other material with the help of needle and thread that is sewing and in this chapter we are going to study about sewing machine different types of lock stitch machines and we are going to study the parts of sewing machine thread how to thread the machine how to wind the bob bobbin filling bobbin winding bobbin everything we are going to learn in this chapter okay so it can be sewing can be defined as the craft of attaching fabrics or materials with the help of needle or a thread and the first sewing machine was patented by elia howe junior in 1858 and it is a hand sewing machine it was a hand sewing machine and isaac singer designed a machine with foot treadle so he invented the first Elia Howe Jr invented the first sewing machine and Isaac Singh designed a machine with foot treadle which have foot treadle okay and I'll so show you a picture of sewing machine do you have do you have sewing machine at home do anyone have anna you don't have Oh, no okay this is a sewing machine and uh, and it is time to wind up the class right so see you on friday and we can continue on friday about this chapter okay so thank you students thank you thank you ma'am thank you ma'am have a great day take care bye